Because number one, he is highly esteemed among men. But number two, he teaches a hardcore lordship salvation. This is what makes him an abomination in the eyes of God. Let me read to you from an article here defending his lordship salvation. The doctrine of lordship salvation teaches that submitting to Christ as Lord goes hand in hand with trusting Christ as Savior. So what do they teach? What is lordship salvation? It's basically saying this. Yeah, you have to trust Christ as your Savior, but you also have to change your life. Because changing your life is synonymous with making Jesus Christ Lord of your life. You know, because he's given us all these commandments to live a holy life, to follow him, to be his disciple. And if you don't do those things, you're not saved. That's what they're saying. And they claim this isn't works. And they, they, they always say in the article, oh, by the way, this is not, we're not teaching works. We're just saying, you know, you got to do the works. <laughs> but it's not works. We're against a works-based salvation, you know. Jonah 3.10 says, And God saw their works, that they turned from their evil way. No, 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 no. You, you need to read John MacArthur's book. <laughs> Not the Bible. Don't read Jonah. Read the gospel according to Jesus. Or should we say the gospel according to John MacArthur? God says works are synonymous with turning from your wicked ways. You know, works is when you try to keep God's commandments because it takes effort on your part to do so. Works is when you're repenting of your sin because it takes effort on your part to do so. Works is any effort on our part, you know, to keep God's commandments, to repent of our sins, to follow the Lord. These are works, folks. And the Bible says, and if it be of grace, then it is no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. Yet they want to stand behind the pulpit and just completely deceive and lie. And say, we're not teaching you, no, the work of salvation is wicked. You know, it's by faith. It's by faith in Jesus Christ. But, you know, saving faith requires a changed life. Bunch of hypocrites. Isn't it funny that Jesus said this of the Pharisees? Ye are they which justify yourselves. And isn't that what John MacArthur does? He's justified. Well, yeah, I'm the elect. You know, because I do X, Y, and Z. What is he doing? He's justifying himself. It's not Jesus who's justifying him. It's not God who's justifying him. Look, I'm saved not because of anything that I do, not by works of righteousness, which I have done, but according to his mercy, he saved me. Not because I persevere unto the end. John MacArthur, whose book, The Gospel According to Jesus, lays out the case for lordship salvation summarizes the, the teaching this way. The gospel call to faith presupposes that, that sinners must repent of their sin and yield to Christ's authority. In other words, a sinner who refuses to repent is not saved, for he cannot cling to sin and the Savior at the same time. Now listen to this. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh and it writeth. <laughs> listen to this. He says, you can't cling to sin and to Jesus at the same time. So what is he saying? He's saying that salvation is based upon the person clinging to Jesus Christ. But is that what the Bible teaches? I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You see, salvation is not based on us holding on to Jesus. Nowhere in the Bible does it teach that. Salvation is based off of Jesus Christ holding on to us. Amen. Amen. We don't... We're, we don't save ourselves, folks. It's Jesus Christ who saves us. It's He's the one who's clinging unto us. He's the one who says, I'll never leave thee nor forsake thee. He's the one who said that no man is able to pluck them out of my hand. The, the, the symbolism there is that He's the one who's holding on to you. But yet, this guy wants to say, He cannot cling to His sin and the Savior at the same time. Wicked. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not utterly perish, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. That's right. Bible says, even if you fall, you will not utterly be cast down, because I'm going to uphold you with my hand. We are not of them to believe, you know, uh, to believe that we're going to uh, go into perdition. We believe in the saving of the soul, according to Hebrews chapter 10. Look, and we're, I'm not justifying backsliding either. Because in our church, we preach holiness. We preach against sin. We want you to stay in church. We want you to have a clean life. You know, put your hands to the plow and not look back. 
But you know what? If someone looks back, they backslide, they go to their old lifestyle, they don't serve Christ, guess what? I'm not going to say they're not saved. Because that's not what salvation is based off of. Now, if that person, same person says, yeah, I believe that Jesus is the Father. Okay, at that point, yeah, you're not saved. Because that now is re referring to your belief system, not the actions that you take. 